What's up, everybody, and welcome to the glorious game of Risk. I am Logan, aka Laser G, and today I'm going to torture myself with a little bit of classic fixed. This is the world's most popular version of Risk, believe it or not. And even though I don't love it, I feel like I win almost every time. So I want to show you in this video how I do it, hopefully, so that you can steal my strategy. Take a look at the settings real quick after we make alliances with everyone. Yeah, I'm not loving this, and I think green might be gearing up to hit me too. Oh boy, okay, let's try and make allies with everyone. We've got two already, that's good. That makes three. I really don't want Australia. We have three troops stuck there, actually make it four troops in Australia. We do get to go last, which is good. So I kind of like my Europe position, and potentially Africa long term. Not really sure what green is up to. Yellow, I think, is going to take North America. Yep. Okay. So let's try and figure this out. Where do people want to be? I think yellow wants to be in North America. I think purple's going for Africa, probably. Green, I think, South America. So this little prisoner exchange situation could be bad for me. Uh, red may try and go for Europe. Right? Five and five here. Red's in a tough spot, too. I think me and red are in difficult positions. See where blue goes with that. Okay, blue hits a three, so we know blue is not very good. Yeah, okay, blue's terrible. So we want to get out of blue's way, because blue is going for Asia, I feel like. <laughs> okay, so blue wants to be in Europe, and they're not allies with us. Wow, okay, blue is just a maniac. 5v5, <laughs> red fist bump. Oh my god, that's incredible. Alright, so blue's dead. <laughs> blue wants to be in Europe and is dead. So get out of Blue's way until we can kill them. Wow, that was an insane, insane turn. Blue down to 14. Let's go Heart and attack Blue to Red. I think Red's going to go Pop Pop here. Yeah. 7 goes 1 and then hits the 2. How badly do they hit Blue? I'm hoping that Red and Blue get into a war here. He doesn't. He's patient. Interesting. That's not going to pay off if Blue's going to suicide into you, though. No, he hits some more Blue. Okay, cool. This is an all-out war now. Interesting. I have a, the most random six in the world in Japan. Which is, <laughs> like, so out of the way of everything. Like, this is actually a horrible start, but Blue kind of saves it. Red says attack my territory. Everyone thinks I want Australia here. But I really hate Australia. Oh, man. Okay, purple hits my two. We don't like that. That's a bad ally. Purple goes insanely aggressively for Africa. Wow. What a start, man. Crazy. Okay. Interesting. I think we uh, are going to be forced into my least favorite play here. But I think longer term we can upgrade. So here's my thinking right now, is if we take Australia, which I absolutely hate, right? I hate taking Australia. But if we take Australia, on a subsequent turn, we'll be able to upgrade and make some kills. In particular, we can kill Blue. So I'm going to tell Yellow Heart, and I'm sorry, I need to attack your territory. And then give him a little thumbs up. I want to be allies with everyone. I'm not allies with Green, unfortunately. But we are going to go ahead and take it turn one. Because I think the advantage of taking it turn one will outweigh the fact that Australia just sucks. And hopefully we get good dice here. We get bad dice. So there's a chance that uh, green just totally wrecks our game now. That was not the dice we needed, right? And green is not allies with us. So there's a chance. This is the turn, right? If green wants to fuck us, this is the turn here. And he'll, he could go like 6v5, but he's not going to. I think he hits my three here. So we're in a very weak position, obviously, like this is not good. And I think we're about to lose our three right now. Yep. Okay, so we had a horrible, horrible start to the game. Absolutely abysmally bad start to the game. Green's making way too many attacks too, so he's trying to get his troops there. Wow, we're playing with some bad players. Yeah, so this is my thinking, right? Like, there are enough bad players in this game that we can make kills and upgrade our position. That's, that's the theory. Settings for this game, we are playing World Domination, Classic, Auto, 60, Medium AI apparently, with fixed cards, Balance Blitz Dice, no filtering of rank, Alliances on, and everything else fancy is off. 
Okay, so what does blue do now? Blue is really the wild card here, right? I think they just slam into red really hard. Maybe they hit my three, right? 5v3? Okay, no, he hits red in retaliation. Right, so blue is going to be dead very soon. Cool. Let's tell red again, heart, and attack blue. Wow. <laughs> He's coming in. He's coming in hot to Australia. <laughs> oh my god, blue is bad. Dude, what is this guy doing? Bro. <laughs> the full suicide from blue. I don't think it was an intentional suicide, though. Lines up to take Australia. Three onto the two. Let's see it. No, okay, moves away. Cool. He's still fucking with red. Good stuff. Long term, I think we might be able to upgrade to Europe. Once all the once all of the morons are out of the game, right? I think like once blue is out of the game, and potentially when blue weakens red, we can actually upgrade our positioning. That's that's the hope. Let's see if it turns out that way. It usually doesn't. Okay, so uh, purple, who was very very aggressive in the open, is going to take Africa. And I'm actually going to give him a thumbs up. I would rather be friends with the noobs, right? I don't want them to slam into me. And they're going to be guarding with 4, 3, and 3. So this 2 is going to go onto this 2 almost for sure. Hopefully green breaks them. Because green doesn't seem very good either. Yeah, exactly. Okay, question now. Blue is unhappy. <laughs> uh, blue being unhappy is not really news. Um, so we don't want to add to Europe, but we also don't want to get hit by blue. So that's definitely our fortify. We also don't want to hit blue if we can help it. So we add all five here. We attack green, removing them from this position and intentionally not attacking blue. End our attack phase and fortify this way. I think that's about the least offensive thing we could have done. And that makes sure that we hold on to Australia. And we're just slowly lining up the blue kill. In addition to the red kill, honestly, because I think yellow is going to remove red from North America. And so red, through no fault of their own, other than fucking with blue, is probably also going to be dead pretty soon, hopefully. We see green getting good dice. They're going to roll 7 before, and they get good dice again. That's not a 100% roll, but they do keep it. And then they're going to fortify the 2 onto the 4, I think. 2 onto the 4. Or four onto the two. One of those is going to happen. See how they play this. They're thinking about it for a long time. They're worried about purple, so maybe they put the four onto the five. That would be an interesting play from, from green. Curious how they fortify here. Okay, they bought. <laughs> That's not what I thought they were going to do. They take their South America, and they're out of the game. <laughs> okay, still technically says they're here, but I feel like General Burn might be gone. How aggressively does Yellow go for their North America? North America is the best continent in the game, but if they don't take it soon, everyone else is going to get too strong, and they're not going to be able to hold it. So they do go pretty aggressively. Red, another sarcastic fist bump. But red is now very weak. Blue is very weak. If blue slams their entire stack into red here, we might actually kill blue right now. I'm kind of waiting until blue and red are on four cards, which I think is the optimal time, right? Because typically you're able to trade in on four. Purple is also in a good position to kill both of these guys, unfortunately. So maybe we can try and block the kill a little bit with this five stack. See what we can do. I think this three goes onto this three in Scandinavia, right? here or this three onto this three i think he's going to add to scandinavia is my point let's see it i'm trying to encourage this war three onto this three no he doesn't do anything okay blue is truly terrible let's throw another heart to red and once again say to attack blue i think they will cool red comes in hits the three or just stays there. Makes one big stack. Cool. Okay, now we're going to get out of Red's way in Europe. 
I think. Although, do I want to get out of Red's way? Because then that would require me to hit blue, and then blue might hit me in retaliation. I really don't want to mess with blue. Okay. Blue is allies with us now. That's very interesting. Let's give blue a little heart. Purple's almost in one position now. Hmm. I think we kill blue on the next turn, hopefully. Um, I kind of like my four where it is, just because it gives me access to this three. But I don't really want to hit blue. Tough. I think I hit purple here and move back, actually. So I'm going to tell purple, I'm sorry I need to attack your territory. Heart. And then I'm also going to say, attack my territory if you need to. And give him a little thumbs up. I want to be cool with purple. I don't want this position to get removed. So I'm going to do this. Yeah, purple gives me a thumbs up. Give him a heart. Next phase, we're going to hit this one here. And then we're going to move back. Cool. So basically what I'm saying to purple is I want to trade with you there. I didn't want to hit red or blue. Because I'm allies with both of them. And so once again, I'm going to say attack my territory if you need to. Hopefully green goes insane and breaks purple here which you sometimes see, but it looks like they're cool to just hang out. They set in an ad entirely there, which is very aggressive to yellow. So maybe they go for the yellow kill. This is not 100% roll. So now I very much want to remove this position of green and force them to fight with these guys, especially because green is not my ally right now. So I'm going to tell yellow, heart, and attack green. We're just in the position of starting wars in this game. Hopefully yellow has a trade on three and they just hit this 14. We really need to get green removed from everywhere except for South America. And if blue doesn't trade in, there's a very good chance we kill them. This is not 100% roll. Oh, they removed green here. Okay, so they're retaliating on green. Let's give them a heart. That was very helpful. Okay, so now I'm going to give a, another heart to our new friend who trades in and gets the 10 trade, and I'm going to say to attack red. Give him a little thumbs up, say to attack red. Hits green, okay, so blue is going to remove green, almost. Cool. Confusing play from blue, who I think is going for Asia here. And then they hit yellow and lose a 3v1, so blue is just absolutely abysmal. Okay, so I think we're targeting red potentially right now. Although yellow is also on four, but we're not really lined up on yellow. Okay, red removes green. Give him a little thumbs up. Not quite worth it to kill red, I don't think. We don't have a set, though. Yeah, I don't even think we can kill red right now. Okay, purple hits my one. Give him a little thumbs up. That's fine. Don't mind that at all. So I think we're gearing up to kill either yellow or red on five cards if they sit on five. Because right now, killing them on four isn't worthwhile. Hmm. Interesting situation here. I think we hit red here. So I'm going to add one here. I'm going to add the rest here, actually, so we're in better lined up on yellow, potentially. Because we have enough in Australia. Quickly attack red. End my attack phase. And then I'm going to tell red heart and attack my territory if you need to heart and attack my territory if you need to and see how i opened up our 15 here so we're still very much open to killing red if they sit on five okay green pretty aggressively slamming into yellow this is why it was important to remove green so green made a really really big mistake they they made a massive fortress in south america but because they got removed from europe and asia they're now forced to be bad neighbors with purple and with yellow 
And what's going to happen now is that yellow is going to slam into their 15, almost for sure, I think. Yep, see it? So them getting removed from the rest of the board was an absolutely massive, massive, massive mistake on Green's part. And it's going to cause them to die, even though they had a pretty decent start in South America. So guys, if you're playing the South America position, really, really important to add aggressively to your Europe and to your Asia stack if you have them, so that you don't get removed and you don't have to be bad neighbors. Let's go ahead and tell Red, actually let's not tell Red anything. We've, we've given Red a lot of instructions. Curious to see how they play this. They do trade and they get the 10 trade. Very lucky for them. Do they just take their Europe now? No, they don't. Red is very, very patient. Interesting. Uh, I have the 8 trade. I think we do trade that in so we don't sit on 5. Purple sets. Does purple kill green here? It's looking like it, right? Yeah, okay, I think they're about to kill green. Nice. Yeah, see, green, who had a decent start, they're done for now. Yep. They're taking it awfully slowly. Okay, maybe they run out of time. <laughs> no, they got it. Cool. So now we tell everyone to attack purple, right? Because purple is holding two continents, so purple is now very scary. So let's go heart and attack purple to everyone. Actually, let's not do it to blue, because blue's not really in position. I'm going to tell blue to attack red. And then I'm going to tell red, heart, and attack purple. Blue gives me a thumbs up. Okay. Interesting. We do want to be lined up on the yellow kill, because I think yellow is going to be very, very weak. So I'm going to trade in. I don't want to sit on five cards, I think. I want Mongolia, actually. Um, add one here. This is going to come into my stack in Australia. Uh, I want to make sure this is at least a 20, so no one thinks about slamming into me. And by no one, I mean blue. Add the rest here. And then we're going to come in this way. Blue's not going to like that, but we're going to quickly end our turn. Don't think we pissed off blue too much, hopefully, if blue knows what they're doing. Okay. Yellow's going to hit purple here, and they're going to hold North America now. But they're going to hold it very weakly, right? Very, very weak hold of North America. So we're going to tell purple heart and attack yellow. Like I said, this whole game is about trying to start wars between all of our opponents. Okay? Attack yellow. Blue probably breaks yellow, maybe? No, blue just focuses on red. Cool, purple gives me a thumbs up. Let's also tell red to attack yellow. I want everyone, I want everyone to be worried about yellow. Very curious what red does with this 33, because they've been very patient all game. Do they break yellow here? They do. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, this is what we thought. Yellow's going to be super, super weak. Do they kill yellow right now? Yeah, it looks like he's going for the kill and he takes North America. That's a really good play. North America, way better continent to hold than Europe. Yellow yawning through their own death. <laughs> cool. I mean, not worth it cards-wise, but it is a good upgrade. Okay, yellow's dead. Red didn't get great dice. Ooh, they get the dudes trade on five. Very unlucky for them. Okay, so they're also holding a very weak North America. Not quite as weak. So let's tell uh, purple to attack red. Purple sets. Maybe purple goes for the kill on red, and then blue freaks out and hits purple, right? Because purple will be holding, like, the entire board. Come on, attack red. He's thinking about it. 
cool. I think that's going to go up this way, right? And then this goes up this way. We might actually get fed the red kill, potentially. Where is he going? Wow, he does almost nothing. Interesting. We really don't want red and purple to be getting this strong. Argument for killing blue right now, honestly. Even though it's not worth it cards-wise. But I feel like this is an unstable board state. I'm very skeptical, very skeptical, that these guys are going to be good neighbors. Because they're not good enough to do the deadliest trap on me in Australia, I don't think. So actually, here's what we do. We do almost nothing. Wait for blue to either sit on four or for these guys to kill each other. We're in a perfectly fine position right now. We're the strongest player still. Let's say uh, heart and attack red. Okay? Attack red. I know I've just been hitting you, but I wonder if uh, they take Europe here. Where is this 24 going? They should take Europe. I think they're probably going to attack red, though. He's too slow. Good stuff. Goes up. Come on. Don't split. Don't split. Nice. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, see, this war between blue and red was always going to end badly for red. Cool. Okay, so now we can kill red if they don't set and uh, purple doesn't kill them. What I'm really hoping is that this 10 sits in Mexico. Yeah, yellow says oops because they're all dead. Okay, I think what just happened is that blue fed the game to purple. Because purple is now going to run up and kill red potentially. Hmm. Yeah, I think that just fed the game to purple, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, because red now is full suiciding, and the person who gets to take advantage of this is purple. So that's unfortunate. Purple is going to get four free cards, basically. Yeah. Purple says to attack red, so maybe they don't. I'll tell him, thumbs up, and you attack blue. Okay. I'll attack red if you attack blue. See if he's dumb enough to fall for that. Because the obvious move right now is to hit red, right? Red is botting right now after their suicide, and it's four free cards. Do I have a set? I don't have a set, unfortunate. If somehow purple fails the red kill, we win for sure. We're basically in a 1v1 with purple right now is the thing. Because blue is an idiot and weak, red is dead. So this is basically a 1v1. They add there and kill red? Almost for sure, right? Why would they tell me to attack red if they were going to kill red, though? That's the thing that's confusing to me. Yeah, I mean, you obviously kill red here. Very confusing that he told me to attack red. Okay, he hits blue. Good stuff. Cool. All right, stay there. Oh my god, does he not kill red here? What an idiot, dude. How do you pass up on four free cards? Crazy. Wow. That is a wild no kill here. It's not even really worth it to kill blue at this point. Yeah. Hmm, I think we just go from here. I'm not going to do anything besides kill red on this turn. Make sure we split correctly. Cool, looks good to me. Yep, cool. Uh, yeah, that looks good, I think. Alberta or Kamchatka? Or Yakutsk? I think this is fine. Um, okay, so we want to make sure that we're lined up on blue, I think, on the next turn. So let's sit right there in Ukraine, right? Because it's open in all directions. Cool. 
throw another heart to our friend here, blue, and say to attack purple. Because I'm still only holding one continent as far as blue is concerned, right? That's probably the level that blue is on, that purple is the bigger threat right now. But no, they are going to attack me. Let's give a heart to purple and not tell him to do anything. I don't really care what purple does at this point, because we're in a 1v1 with purple, and I think we are going to win it. This game was just purely a case of starting wars with everyone, right? Starting wars between all of our allies. Pretty classic, classic fix strategy, right? Just cause everyone to fight each other and do almost nothing. But yeah, blue hits me pretty hard, and then I think maybe they bought out. No, they're still here. Very curious what purple does. Does purple know they're in a 1v1 with me? Let's tell them to attack blue. Okay, attack blue. I think they do, right? They go around this way. What are they doing right now? Very confused about this play. They're taking North America. Blue is very focused on continents. Okay. Interesting stuff. See how far we can get on this turn. We might be able to win. We'll see. Purple has 60 after the trade. So we set. Uh, add everything here. Because the 26 is enough to get blue this way. Cool. Get the blue kill. I'll take those cards, and I just wanted to take the board, right? That's kind of the most important thing, is that we just take the board. Slider on the 18. Want good dice here, obviously. That's not bad. Uh, and then we break everything as the priority. Hit the 5. Make sure our slider's all the way there. Cool. And I actually don't mind opening the 13. Do this once. Cool. End our attack phase and fortify here, I think. Okay. So we now have all the momentum. We have five cards. We have more than twice as many troops as purple. So this is looking really good. Purple might actually quit now. I'm going to say good game. I think it's over. I gotta say, I have, I'm kind of enjoying the classic fix now. I'm definitely a progressive guy, but I feel like my win rate is a lot higher with fixed. I want to say I've won my last like four or five games of fixed. And I feel like the strategy is a lot simpler. You just start wars between everyone else. You kind of just chill out patiently. Purple might have just like bought it out here. Right? They might have just quit the game, which is like not the best move in terms of sportsmanship, but is what it is. At least they don't surrender and they give us the satisfaction. Yeah, okay. Purple's gone. <laughs> purple thought that taking North America was the play there, and uh, it was not. Bye-bye, Purple. <laughs> Good game to you, Mr. AI. Mr. Uh, what do we have here? Mr. Medium AI. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy um okay so we add almost everything here 22 uh 100 on this is 18 i believe and there's your game and we set in nice nice little 36 stack we go one two three four five there's your game that was a pretty easy one i have to say I feel like maybe our best opponent was red, but I'm going to go ahead and guess a lot of novices and beginners in this one. Wow, much better field than I thought. We've got an intermediate, an expert. Red was a master, guys. That is really interesting. Red obviously made the mistake of hitting blue, and I think it was maybe blue's first game or one of their first few games. Uh, but yeah, red retaliated pretty hard after blue hit them, and that was their downfall. Makes sense that purple was a novice too. Purple was really going for continents and ignoring all these profitable kills. 
Uh, so yeah, not surprised that purple is a novice. I'm a little surprised that Yellow's ranked being an expert, but I feel like this game really goes to show that just kind of sitting in a corner, allying up everyone, sending everyone hearts, and causing them to kill each other is the meta for Classic Fixed. I'm really proud of how I played this one. It feels like a pretty repeatable way to win, especially when we see these ranks. If you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, and I'll see you all in the next one.